Okay, so it's ready. Make sure that's in focus. It's up here. And if I put my mic on, that should do it. Yes, okay. Mixed media and painting skulls. Welcome, welcome back if you've been here before. I'm Lee and I make art and videos about art. So this type of video is actually one of my favorites to make because it's just time lapses of my work. Um, so you get to see the full process and it'll be of four of these five pieces of work here. So I've got some drawing of skulls, paintings as well. This one I'm actually gonna save for another video and it'll be these four that I'm talking about today. So you get to see the full process of each one and I'll get to reflect on what I like about them or why I've decided to make them and why I've decided to make them look this way. So I'll bring the video up and start chatting. So let's see if I can do the old or favorite way of. I'll be watching the time lapse on my computer down here. Um, so I'll be talking to the camera, but I'll also be looking down at that as well. Um, yeah, so let's get started. So I actually started painting almost three years ago now, and uh, it's been a bit of a frustrating journey um, because for one reason or another, I've had to keep taking time away from this stuff. Meaning I've only really had time to take on commissions and I've barely had any free time to make any of my own pieces. Now though, fortunately, I, I have a bit more time to do my own pieces, um, which means I've, I can do something that I've been struggling to do for the last three years, which is, make my own body of work or series of paintings. I think part of that, that frustration and problem of, of being able to do that as well was not having a clear idea of what a series of paintings uh, entails. Now I understand it to mean that a series of work is just a body of work that shows consistency from the artist, so in this case, me. So if you were to look at all of the paintings together, you'd be in no doubt that they all came from the same artist. And after chatting with a friend about how to develop ideas and make a series, like I, f I finally came across uh, or developed an idea that I can do this with and that I'm excited to make. So the idea itself is actually, uh, it's called Mortality. And uh, I've actually put a synopsis for the, the, uh, the concept in the description below. So after the video or now, if you like, you can pause it and have a look, um, have a read, and uh, you can see a concise explanation of what the theme is and what it will be covering and exploring. So in a nutshell, the, uh, the idea for now is um, it's exploring society's uh, obsessive fear of death. And I don't think everyone shares this fear of death. I think there are clearly individuals that, that embrace it and some cultural practices that kind of lead to the same thought or the same, the same uh, end result of, of embracing death. Um, but I think for the most part, the, the cultures or the people that I've met and interacted with do what they can to avoid the subject of it. And it's a thought, I guess, that may seem morbid, um, but I hope it doesn't. It's one that I came across at quite an early age was that I just want to die happy and I think to do that um, I need to confront the idea of death so I can enjoy my life now you know so I'm not anxious about what will come I mean about the what I guess is the only certainty about life So in the interest of explaining why it excites me and that I can get excited about it and it not being morbid, um, I can say that it's uh, these four paintings are actually inspired by um, the Day of the Dead Latin American Festival where they celebrate their dead. And this colorful aesthetic is so that you can look at these, these pictures of these things that normally represent this thing that we're afraid of. And you can, instead of thinking on oh, morbid or kind of dreary or death, you can think colorful and exciting. And it's actually a way for me to filter my ideas as well because I get a lot of ideas and I like kind of like to bounce between them and and it's a bit hard to shut off sometimes so uh, so to not get too distracted what I, I kind of do is I say okay here is my concept and it's the the day of the dead festival to have this colorful thing and the way I filter the ideas is I measure them against the concept so I say does it fit the concept or the idea and then is it a good idea or does it sound a bit kind of cheesy or tacky um, and then what's the likelihood of me being able to execute it and if it passes all three of those then brilliant I just go and make the image straight away and um, if it doesn't and it's a really poor idea then I get rid of it um, but if there's some kind of merit to it somehow I, I just kind of write it down or at least act on it in some way 
And this actually helps me get past the kind of the first ideas that I have. Like uh, the first ideas I don't normally like to sit on. I just feel like they're a bit kind of on the nose, you know? Um, so the first thoughts I had around it were, I guess the ones that anyone would come to if you thought about um, a fear of death and, and how society deals with it, which is kind of the kind of mad ideas of cryonics, you know, like freezing parts of yourself to the kind of, I guess, more conceptual or abstract ones of legacies or um, afterlife or spirituality and these kind of things. And I think I, uh, I don't have much interest immediately in kind of making art about the religious aspect of death or the spiritual or kind of people's thoughts on afterlife. It's just not an area that I'm interested in too much. I think I much prefer the, the social aspect or the cultural behavioral aspect of it. So uh, the practices that people have, um, like celebrating the death or, or in certain places where they hire people to, to grieve publicly and to put on this performance of showing how, how, how deep it is to you. But I think these types of practices are stuff that I'm way more interested in, in creating images like this. So those are the first four paintings of my series of mortality. And uh, like I said, there is a fifth one behind me, which I will um, discuss in the next video. And so far, these are, uh, these are done. And if you can see them, yes. So yeah, these are inspired by or in honor of the, uh, the Day of the Dead Latin American Festival. And I'm super happy with them. They are some of my favorite works that I've made to date. And I think for the first time, um, with more than just maybe one painting, um, I can actually say that if I saw someone else make these, I would, my, my reaction would be, oh, I wanna make art like that. And I've been dying to do that for not just as long as I've been painting, but for as long as I've been interested in art and drawing and everything. And, and I feel like I'm becoming a fan of my own work, which is, it's like, I guess it's, it's why you want to do something like this, you know? The aim of, of doing this is to do what you love every day. And I want to be able to love my work, you know, to love the stuff that I make. And right now I do, I love, I love this stuff. I love how they look, I think they're, they're cool, they're fun, they're, they encompass everything I like to do in art, with painting, making fun parts of the image, a bit of abstract, a bit wild, some nice line work, some nice realism in there as well, and the good colour palette as well, I think they're really cool, and I can't wait to explain and, and show you the time lapse and process for this one as well, and just keep making more. Also, I really enjoy the process of, of making work. So I, I tend to think of things in, I guess, quite a formulated or calculated kind of way. And I know that there are some people that just do it in a very intuitive, free-flowing kind of way. So if you make any of your own work, whether it be image making, sculpture, uh, art of any kind, you know, like dance, music, acting, filmmaking, and you're, you've made your own work or original pieces, or you're making your own work, um, please let me know just how like how you do it, like how you find it, how the process is going, how it went. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments below. I'm just interested in how people think through ideas. Um, if you want to see any more of my work, uh, so more of the paintings that I made uh, here today, and this one before I make a video on it, um, head over to my website and my socials where I upload my work regularly so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, for now though, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.